My name is Billy D, and I'm juiced on life. Happy to be here. Hope you are too. So for this segment, we're going to talk about natural ways to radically increase your human growth hormone potential. Human growth hormone is secreted in the small pituitary gland in your brain. This facilitates how tall you are, how big your muscles are, how quick you recover. Now, the only way human growth hormone is released is from your natural body or injections. Injections are not safe and can cause a whole harem of unwanted developments. So for this segment, we're going to talk about natural ways to increase and optimize that production. I will warn you, your body will transform. You will see the optimum potential if you're willing to do what it takes to get shredded. above their anaerobic threshold for 30 second intervals five more times in the workout. This engages super fast twitch muscle fibers which release HGH naturally, creating exercise-induced growth hormone response. That's why when you see a sprinter like Usain Bolt, they're super jacked, and endurance runners and marathon runners, they're super skinny. The number two method, get your beauty sleep. It's simple really, about 70 to 80% of your HGH production takes place while you are sleeping. Not getting enough sleep regularly can lower the amount of growth hormone your body produces daily. Even though excess sleep won't necessarily increase the amount of growth hormone your body secretes, irregular sleep patterns could be suppressing how efficiently your body distributes growth hormone during the course of the day. So the next best thing you could do to release HGH is go on a temporary fast or do IF intermittent fasting. Higher insulin levels in the serum eventually decrease the serum production of human growth hormone. So for best results, intermittent fasting is suggested not only for a better blood sugar profile and optimum digestion, but also for the higher release of the human growth hormone. The duration of intermittent fasting greatly varies, but generally a fast of 12 to 18 hours is greatly considered sufficient thrice a week for health benefits and to increase human growth hormone production. When I first met Dustin, everybody's like, dude, what's this guy on? What kind of gears he on? He's super shredded. And dude, he'd be like, I'm on IF. Check out this fucking link, leangains.com. And the dude was shredded, peeled. So, IF works. Check it out. Number four, don't eat two to three hours before sleeping because you want to keep your insulin levels as low as possible before going to bed so you can produce more HGH while you sleep. When insulin levels are high, less HGH is produced. When in insulin levels are low, more HGH is produced. Moving on to step five of naturally releasing HGH, you want to make sure you try to lose weight if you're a little bit heavy. The more overweight you are, the more likely you are to have higher levels of insulin because your body has probably become insulin resistant, which basically means your body doesn't do a really good job of getting rid of excess insulin. So lose that weight. Very true, my friend. Very true. Number six, supplement strategically. There are a lot of products claiming HGH release, but only a few have science-backed results. And the number one proven product is Macuna Perunis, also known as the Velvet Bean, which active ingredient is L-Dopa, which is a direct precursor to the neurotransmitter dopamine. Dopamine works as one of the best natural HGH releasers by stimulating the pituitary gland to increase the production of HGH. Arginine and glutamine taken on an empty stomach also have shown promising results. Melatonin, GABA, bovine colostrum, and vitamin D3 have also shown potential in HGH release. 
Method number seven is to clean out your liver. Clean out your liver because almost all the benefits of HGX, like fat burning, muscle building, and anti-aging come directly from the liver. All the HGH your body releases is absorbed by the liver and converted to IGF-1. So even if your body is producing more than enough HGH, you'll never experience the benefits of HGH if you have a fatty liver. A cycle of milk thistle or picking up a bottle of Altox here at Max Muscle can be rejuvenating to helping out the liver. Stay shredding and clean that sucker up. Mm -hmm. Meat juice is also good for cleansing our liver. So number eight, stretching, yoga, and meditation have all shown to increase blood HGH levels. The entire human organism is controlled by hormones. Every system, every organ, every tissue, every cell is guided in its functioning by hormones. The mind is a powerful tool. Just like all the hard work studying in school, you become smarter. Applying that discipline and sharpening your mind through meditation, more HGH can be released and absorbed. Definitely. So laughter and also having a positive attitude plays a role with HGH. <laughs> Laughing more, a study from the Loma Linda School of Public Health in California says that laughter can increase your growth hormone levels by 87%. That's very drastic. The blood drawn from experimental subjects just before they watched the funny video had 87% more human growth hormone compared to a group that didn't watch a funny video. So laugh more, laugh often, and release GH. Hey, you want to catch a comedy show, dude? Exactly. Let's get our HGH. Let's get our HGH. Let's do it. Let's do it, bro. So number 10. Eat clean and eat well. So number 10. Eat clean and low fat diet. Consume more fava beans. They are filled with L-dopa. Watermelon is an anabolic primer, as it's also rich in L-citrulline, an amino acid that converts into arginine in our bodies. Try a monofast consuming watermelon for one day. Let the anabolic growth hormone surge through your body and shrink your waistline. So now, like all the methods we just explained today, they cost nothing to you today, and we encourage you to give it a shot. Like everything of quality, it takes time. So incorporate these lifestyle changes into your daily routine and let your body grow naturally. Exercise, stress, emotional excitement, Diet and aging all affect the quantity of HGH production. Allow your body the full potential to be optimized at its peak. It's fucking true, man. <laughs> so I'm Billy D. And I'm Dustin C. And, and we're, we're juiced on life. Bye.